Young and apparently very restless. Despite polls showing the vast majority of young people favor the president, even now they're not exactly sold on the president, and a good many of them aren't too keen on having to buy health care now demanded by the president. Enter what Hadley Heath of Independent Women's Forum calls a possible youth opening for one Mitt Romney. Uh, Hadley, it would still be an uphill fight, though, but explain how we could pull it off. Right. Conservatives do have an opportunity in 2012 to make inroads with these young voters. They're very discouraged right now. Many of them voted for President Obama in 2008 in what was their first election, their first opportunity to cast a ballot in a national election. And now they've seen that he can't fulfill the promises that he made in 2008, nor can he possibly fulfill the promises he's making now. But it, it's not as if they're running and storming over to Mitt Romney. What do you think it will take the Republican candidate to do to woo them? Right. Well, I think this is actually an indication that this new generation of young voters have conservative instincts. They don't trust the president anymore because they've seen him fall short of the excitement they had for him in 2008. But they're very distrusting of Romney as well. And to distrust government is to realize that government can't possibly be the solution. And as President Reagan said, is, is now part of the problem. So I believe this is a good indication of, of where their attitudes are. You know, uh, it's talking about a lot of young people on this show, at home with my kids. One of the things I've discovered is that they're very cynical about politicians in general, both parties in general, uh, about Republican stewardship in Washington, Democratic stewardship in Washington. And when it comes to our leaders, they increasingly say a pox on all their houses, right? I mean, they're the same way about investing. They look at their 10-year average performance that their parents have had, and they say, boy, they've gotten squat for it. We don't trust, like, have faith in anyone. Right, and the consequence for many of today's youth in the United States is that all this excitement that's been building up as they're graduating high school and some of them graduating college and some of them graduating with, with master's degrees now entered the job market and, and discovered that those opportunities are very rare. Many of them are returning to their mom and dad's basement. And that's simply not the American way. That's not the way that so many young people want uh, their lives to go. Of course, they want to contribute to a strong economy, to a strong civil society. And this is the message that Romney needs to be taking to these voters, a future-oriented, a goal-oriented message that's not so critical, not so negative, but really illustrates what his vision is for the country. All right. Uh, barring his ability to do that, I mean, do you see a lot of these young people just staying at home in frustration, not going to vote? Absolutely. I do think that voter turnout will be much lower than it was in 2008. We saw in the 2010 elections, uh, Republicans ha won big, but it wasn't because young voters came out and supported Republicans. It was because many of those voters stayed at home. So I think that's certainly something to look for in 2012, the turnout with young voters. And you mentioned that President Obama enjoys an advantage, but that advantage is actually, interestingly enough, it's smaller with the 18 to 24-year-old category than it is for voters 25 to 29. So these first-time voters are are really entering adulthood in a period where they're very questioning of the president and whether or not he's actually the leader that uh, they thought he was. His cool factor from 2008 is definitely wearing off. Yeah, and the enthusiasm factor, well, it's not necessarily shifting to Mitt Romney. It's down for the president, so that vote is looking to go somewhere. Hadley, thank you very much. Good seeing you. Thank you. Well, the